organic, unpredictable, unknown, lovely, beautiful, a sense of fulfillment. This is part of the pleasures of life and not the chores of life. Thanks for tuning in to your latest edition of Daily Iowan TV, your television news, sports, and weather source for the Daily Iowan. I'm Darius Bowie, broadcasting from the Daily Iowan Newsroom. News details have emerged in the April death of an Iowa City Tyler. According to a news release sent out Sunday, a medical examination of the 20-month-old showed that he had broken ribs, bruises on his head, face, back, and stomach, as well as various forms of internal bleeding. The child's mother, 18-year-old Mariah Bell Darius, and her boyfriend, 20-year-old Jorge Perez, are both being held in Johnson County Jail on $200,000 and $500,000 bills, respectively. University of Iowa Foundation fundraising tactics for the university and its hospital are being questioned because specific patient details are shared with fundraiser sources told the Des Moines Register that the foundation appears to try to take advantage of the relationship between patients and doctors by sending letters to patients signed by doctors in an attempt to persuade patients to donate. This information sharing is legal under federal patients' privacy laws and the practice is also relatively spread, widespread, particularly among teachers' hospitals such as the UIAC. 150 years later, the historic Plum Grove property, property is still here and Daily Iowa TV, Muriel Kone has more on how the piece of history is felt even today. Plum Grove is mostly known as the home of the first territorial governor of Iowa, Robert Lucas, but his wife's vegetable and flower gardens is an attractive site for most visitors. We clean the gardens out and uh, we have a compost pile where we put all of the uh, debris that we can take from the gardens and uh, then subsequent Saturday we would start planting and um, we come and we water. That's what I'm doing here today is watering. And even though today is Ellen's first official day as a volunteer, it did not keep some folks out. It was a beautiful day and there were a lot of visitors to the park, so that was interesting for me to be giving my first tour to a lot of people. They also got a taste of what plants grew on the property when Governor Lucas lived with his family. And the organic plants isn't the only interest that drew in one volunteer. I'm very interested in Plum Grove for many reasons, both as a, as a neighbor and a master gardener. Plum Grove has also brought in a variety of people seeking out its history. The Department of Anthropology at the University of Iowa has also carried on excavations here at the Plum Grove property. They found cattle-like bones and jaws like these behind me. So whether you're in the mood for a little bit of history or some gardening advice, Plum Grove is not a bad idea. Muriel Kone, Daily Iowa TV. And now a quick look for sports. Tryouts for the 2012 Primetime and Game Time Leagues took place in the Fieldhouse on the University of Iowa campus on Sunday night. The women's tryouts took place first 6.30, followed by the men at 8. League Commissioner Randy Larson hopes that each team will consist of two current Hawkeyes, two former Hawkeyes, as well as one incoming Hawkeye. Current and incoming players expected to participate including Josh Oglesby, Aaron White, and possibly Matt Gaines, as well as Matt Gessel, Adam Woodbury, and newly acquired Iowa commit Jared Utah. Both leagues will see a few slight changes this year, such as both the men's and women's leagues, consisting of just four teams each, as well as slightly shorter seasons. The primetime league draft will take place at 6.30 this Wednesday, while the game time league draft takes place at the same time Thursday night. Check out Daily Iowans TV and the Daily Iowan for full draft coverage. The 2012 NCAA Outdoor Track and Field Championships in Des Moines concluded this Saturday. The Hawkeye men's teams finished competition tied for third with third place with 12 points. The Gators of Florida won the men's competition edging LSU just by two points, while LSU won the women's competition crushing second place Oregon by 14. You can check out a full recap of Iowa's qualifiers in Monday's print edition of the Daily Iowa. And before we leave, let's take a quick look at the local weather forecast. Make sure and bring an umbrella on your way out Monday morning as, there, as there's a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms before 1 p.m. We should see a high of 86 during the day. Then in the evening, it will be clear off and we'll see a low of 61 degrees. 
Expect sunny skies this week with highs in the upper 70s and on to the 80s as we make our way to the weekend with a chance of precipitation Saturday and Sunday. And only with the Daily Iowa can you get a sneak peek of Thursday's print edition of the Daily Iowa. Read about an Iowa City program that trains children as young as eight about the fundamentals of aviation. And in sports, read a feature about four seniors of Iowa's track and team and the individual journeys of the championship. That's your latest edition of the Daily Iowa TV. You can check us out anytime online at thedailyiowan.com. Thanks for watching and have a great night.